Carolina Hurricane Coffee is brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. Live for the game, live fearless. By CarQuest. For all your automotive needs, visit your neighborhood CarQuest Auto Parts store. Great people, great products, great prices. And by Chevrolet. Brought to you by Chevrolet. Find new roads. And the Hurricanes will be looking to find a way to get it done tonight. They start a very important weekend here at home. 105th all-time meeting between these two teams. Let's take a look at the starting goaltenders. Brought to you by Golden Corral. Help yourself to happiness. Anton Hudobin had 25 saves in a 2-1 loss against Winnipeg here on Tuesday night. And his mentor, years past with Boston, we talked about it the last time these two teams played. Tim Thomas will go on consecutive nights for Florida. In the Nets last night, they were defeated by Detroit at home 3-1. Eric Stahl, Yuri Toulouse, and Alex Simmons start for Kirk Muller. John Michael Lyles and Ron Hainsey on the back end. Sit back and enjoy this one. Eric Stahl thwarted a bit on the way through by Brian Campbell. Tom Gilbert. Campbell leads Florida in terms of ice time out to center. And the veteran John Michael Lyles is back on it. Hurricanes will finish with a back-to-back -back set prior to the Olympics. Montreal is here tomorrow night for a special 6 o'clock start. On the wall, Brad Boys through the middle looking for Sean Bergenheim. And this line with Alexander Barkov has been clicking. Out of the corner, Bergenheim centers one, mopped up by Carolina's Ron Hainsey, and they wheel out. Yeah, when I walked into the arena tonight, I saw Montreal's bags. Their equipment had already arrived after beating Vancouver up in Quebec last night. A yeah, rousing win over the Canucks, who are really in trouble right now. Justin Falk back to play it. Bottled up by Jonathan Huberdeau, and now it's controlled here by Scotty Upshaw. Little help from Bukestad, and it comes all the way back in the Florida zone. Skinner has Lindholm for Clyde. And then Lindholm pushes the net off the pegs, so we get a stoppage. But an excellent scoring chance for the 19-year-old. Well, this was an excellent read from Lindholm, and Timmy Thomas says something to him. Good play along the boards, and, and Lindholm is coming in to help out, but then he sees Skinner's going to get there first, so just drive the net. Skinner read off of it, beat Kulikov to the puck, and the Hurricanes nearly scored. And this line has been generating chances. You had the responsible Jordan Stahl isolated down low in his own end to let those two young legs go to work on the part of Skinner and Lindholm. Top line out again. Simmons shot to flex high as we see over the top. Ed Jovanovski back to play it, muscled by Yuri Talusti. The veteran Jovanovski recovers, and here come the Cats out to center ice. Rex Express Care injuries and scratches at the top of your screen. Rex Healthcare is chosen for excellence. Marcel Gotch stopping and starting behind Anton Hudobin. On the back of the goal, Andre Sekera is there for Carolina. Now Semin looks around. Justin Falk, Sekera out of the corner. Now to neutralize the captain, Eric Stahl, in control. Semin off the wall, pulls up. Shoots one off the stick of Jovanovski. Played here by Eric out in front. Little chip that time by Jesse Winchester, and it comes all the way back out. When Semin dusts it off before he fires, he, he doesn't score like he was a few weeks ago. He cannot have that dust move, especially against a guy like Jovanovski, who has come back from injury playing well. In the center zone now, Carolina recoiling. They'll lay it ahead. Florida had a ton of shots Tuesday night, a season high against Toronto. They won that game last night. No shots at all, really, against Detroit. And they were criticized by their coach, Peter Horacek, for the lack of a work ethic last night against the Red Wings. So the Hurricanes have to be ready for that. Well, you know they're going to bring it in there. And Ed Jovanovski followed his coach earlier in the week and said if they don't work, they are, these are his words, a mediocre team. And so you know they will be a spirited bunch tonight and they go back with Timmy Thomas and the Nets on back-to-back -back nights. And this is their final game before the Olympics. So they go on vacation after this. And two of their players, Thomas Kopetsky and Alexander Barkov, will be in Sochi. Carried along by Rutu in a 600th game shut down by Tim Thomas. Wiped along by Drayson Bowman. Now... Kulikov will play it along the wall. Hainsey is there off a of body. Off Dylan Olsen, who's in the lineup tonight. 
Now out of the corner. Riley Nash for Ron Hainsey. Skate to stick. John Michael Lyles. Drayson Bowman coming off a solid game against Winnipeg Tuesday. Tries to center. And now Sean Bergenheim is back on it. And one thing about Thomas, you see how much fun he has. He lurks out of the net, and that's part of the unique nature of his uh, goaltending. You want to use the end board sometimes because you can catch him out of position. Elias Lindholm, his opposite number. Alexander Barkov sneaking in, fanning on it, Skinner. Getting it from Jordan, wide of Thomas. Play top of your screen by Justin Fulk. Picked off by Alexander Barkov. Barkov out of the corner. Met there by Jordan. They continue to grind. Florida has the prize, and out they come. Really, for Florida, you have to adjust to Tim Thomas, and that's why I think it, other than his health, it took a couple of months because he plays so different. And so as a group of defensemen in particular, yeah, you have to point. play a different brand of hockey with the way he plays goal. That's right. And now Bukestad will clear it all the way back in the zone. Nick Bukestad free to the corner. Eric Branson back to the point, covering up Scotty Upshaw. His shot blocked by Falk, and Carolina gets it out to center ice. Luck is loose this way. Got Branson. Jonathan Huberdo over the line pulls up. Last year's rookie of the year. Hudobin says no on Scotty Upshaw. Andre Secker is hurt right now, but I think he just caught a stick, so I don't think it's anything serious. I think he was just saying to the referee that this should have been a high stick. Let's watch. He was right. And Falk had gotten off his partner, but Secker, because he was the defenseman furthest away from the bench, could not get off. He was in some pain, and Florida gets its best chance at this young game, and who dove in a timely stop. Nick Bukestad will stay out for Florida, take this face off, flanked by Jonathan Huberdeau and Scott Upshaw. Face off, Eric Stahl losing it. Scotty Upshaw's shot blocked on the way through. Eric gets it back. A lead pass now for Toulouse, and out they come. Gary Toulouse goes wide, looks for Eric. Eric with a shot, headed down by Thomas. He'll cover. Let's take a look now at tonight's Storm Tracker. Well, it starts with the top end, and to me, that's the top two lines uh, because it's now been a stretch of games since. Skinner's moved up to play with Jordan, and, and, and the Hurricanes have loaded up their offense in the top six. Take away the will uh, early from a team that's playing on back-to-back -back nights on the outside looking uh, in, in the playoff picture. And the youth, the Nashes, the Bowmans, the Lindholms, that consistency that every young player tries to locate to the ones that do, it's very impressive. Carolina has won the previous meeting between these two teams a couple of weeks ago. Three to two in late March. They play in South Florida. Hudobin handles that one from Kopetsky. Now Jesse Winchester is tied up by Carolina's Manny Maholtra. Jay Harrison in the skates of Patrick Dwyer. Florida on the attack. Kopetsky holding onto it. He'll turn. Whistle one off the pad of Hudobin. Tom Gilbert. Inside it goes for Winchester. Out in front off a skate. Now it's played here by Marcel Gotch, who lost his edge. And a good break for Carolina as they get it out. And a good stick from Brett Belmore uh, there to protect the post on a stuff chance because I think Hudobin was going to have some trouble getting over. And he bought uh, his goaltender some time. Thomas Fleischman in full flight. Scott Gomez for Fleischman going wide. In control. He'll circle. Tries a centering pass that's broken up. Good job that time by the Hurricanes, and out they come. Tuomo Rutu for Riley Nash. Nash to the outside, takes a seat, knocked down by Ed Jovanovsky. In back of the goal, dug out by Nash. In the slot, quick hitter, Lyles blocked in front. As Thomas recovered on that. Good Branson in control, and out they go. Excellent early shift from Riley Nash. Our third game key is the consistency. Begins with a good play as the low centerman in his own end, and then a heck of a playmaking look for a good chance in the attacking zone. 3-2 are the shots. Carolina by one. Skinner down the wall by Olsen. Holding on to it, a tough angle, fended off by Tim Thomas. And it careens out of play. 13.37 left to go in period one. Just underway in Raleigh. We're goalless. In the first, we are scoreless in Raleigh. In the last two days in practice, the Hurricanes had a special focus on, well, the special teams. And that's our Geico quote from head coach Kirk Marlarell here. He says, I think the biggest objective is how we're going to play from here down the stretch. It's a mindset in our special teams that have to be at the 100-plus ratio. That's the challenge. John Tripp. Well, again, we talked about it opening night, is that 100-plus ratio. And what it is, is it's just another way of saying your power play goals for and your power play goals against. 
And the Hurricanes, if you add their nine shorthanded tallies, I know I'm going numbers on you, they're actually a plus two, which puts them 14th in the league, but they want to climb higher. Yeah, don't lose me in the numbers. Now, Olsen tries to clear it. Dylan Olsen inside it goes. Jeff Skinner, Jordan Stahl, Elias Lindholm up front for Carolina. Here's Jordan looking for Skinner. Skinner controlling with those deft hands. Out of Dylan Olsen and played here by Dmitry Kulikov and all the way back out. It, it's just like plus minus for a player. And so the Hurricanes, when you add those shorthanded goals, are actually a plus two if their special teams was a player. Should the Canes win tonight, all Kaniacs win. Get 50% off your entire menu price online order at participating Papa John's the day after a Canes win. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. And I'm not really a big numbers guy either, but those numbers are actually ones that I look at and, and really extract something from. Infringement on the circle that time by Yuri Talusti and Sean Bergenheim. Dmitry Kulikov along the dasher. Punched ahead by Lyles. Brought back in the zone by the speedy Sean Bergenheim. He's negated nicely by Ron Hainsey. It's dug out by Florida. Brad Boyce out in front. Looking for Nick Bukestad. In control now, Boyce. On the cycle for Bukestad. The young rookie now makes a move on Eric Stahl. It's a good one to the outside now. Bukestad holding on to it. His pass detected. Batted along. Hudobin said no. Brad Boys on the doorstep with a steal away from Eric Stahl for Bukestad. And a good stick by Lyles. But it's all Florida in this sequence. Now it's Bukestad along the boards now. Muscled a bit by Eric. Loose in back of the goal as we see in control is Ron Hainsey. Yeah, other than the Skinner to Lindholm chance, the chances in this game certainly the early edge to the Panthers. He's off the skate of Alexander Semin. Away from Brian Campbell. Bukestad is there. Center zone, Scotty Upshaw. Bukestad at the line, Huberdo. Bukestad again, his shot blocker down by Anton Hudobin. Out of the corner, working hard for the Hurricanes is Brett Belmore. His stick was held, no call. Belmore back out to center. Through the center ice area now, Eric Branson, who recently set out three games as a healthy scratch, but he's been better since. Now, Marcel Gotch. And he was wearing a full cage before he got scratched because he was coming back from a facial injury. He has taken that off, and that's helped him uh, play better, Sid. Yeah, had a broken nose out to center ice. Patrick Dwyer, shadowed by Ed Jovanovsky. Here's Nathan Gerby. Hit hard by Dick Branson. Florida, pitch forks the puck. Not out, held in by Justin Falk. Benny Malholtra lost his stick in the process, and now it's loose and pack of the goal. Out of that scrum, good Branson gets to it from the corner. Tries to spin off of Gerby, and the crowd appreciates the diligence again of Nathan Gerby. Out to center, Marcel Gotch, he'll wipe it in. And when I was between the benches against Winnipeg, it took until really the second period for the crowd to get involved. Will that give this team a lift, uh, that Gerby shift? Hope so. Now it's carried out here by Tuomo Rutu with Bowman and Sekera. Who has it? Grayson Bowman holding. Good defense by Dylan Olsen. Kulikov for Olsen. They picked up from Chicago earlier this season. Now, a chance for Nash. He scores! Riley Nash continues his positive run, and Carolina is off and running. Again, one of our game keys is uh, the young kids playing consistently, and Riley Nash actually helped to start the play that he finished. So he gets in with pursuit that forces the play up the boards. Route 2 anticipates. Don't forget about the net drive from the third guy, Bowman, who goes to the front of the net. Thomas has trouble locating it, and Nash scores high to the glove. So really a, a line goal where all three players had a part. Riley Nash, who talked about he, along with Drayson Bowman during Hurricanes Live, following up a positive game, and they do, for the early goal and a very important first goal for Carolina. Especially with the way Florida had the early push, and it's not surprising. I said in our pregame show, if you play well in all three zones or away from the puck, you get rewarded. Riley Nash's first shift was excellent. Here's Bergenheim darting in, Hudobin hangs on. 
Tuomo Rutu in his 600th NHL game gets the lone assist. And Riley Nash is our Moe's. Hey, hey, what do you say? Queso player tonight. So everybody receives a free side of Moe's famous queso and hot fresh chips tomorrow at any triangle location. Just say Canes to redeem. Well, that was a, that was a true four-check goal. First man pressure, Bourne taken away from Rutu, net drive from Bowman and Nash getting himself into a shooting area. I mean, and that was exciting. Jovanovski now away for Erica Branson. Brad Boys through center ice room for Alexander Barkov to the outside of Ron Ainsey. Brad Boys hits a hole, defended by Lindholm and Jordan Stahl. Bergenheim looks for Boys. Boys again drops it back. Lindholm has it, and Carolina advances back out to center ice. A good look at the 19-year-old. Jet Skinner's in. Shut down by Tim Thomas. What a save off the stick of Jeff Skinner. But Carolina gets off to a very good start. The eighth goal of the season for Riley Nash. Hurricanes won the Panthers. No score. Hurricanes, I'm on the bench with Coach Dave Lewis. You have two Olympians on your top defensive pair in Sakura and Falk. When they're playing at their best, what are they providing for the whole team? Well, they're consistent. They make good plays. They defend really well. They're used on the penalty killing situation and power play. So they pretty much do everything. All right, thanks. Okay. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, when you look at uh, the games after the break, that's where the rest of the defensive group is going to have to pick up the slack because these two are so important to this team. Sekera, here it comes, denied by Thomas, a rebound, turning Semin. He scores! Consistency embodied by Nash, and now the top six. You don't see seven yet. You do now. He protects the puck. Good D to D pass. That front presence, therefore, Thomas can't control the rebound. And remember earlier when I said seven cannot dust the puck off like he did at Jovanovski and had a shot block? Did you see any dust there? No. I know you're not in the house cleaning business, but no dust. No, I had the white glove he just, out. He had no the dust. white glove out. The male version of a French maid, the puck gets oh. Joey scores. Let's get on with our action here. Now it's Lyles out of the corner. Fell right off the chair on that one. Now good Branson. It goes off a stick. It goes in the safety netting. So we get a break here. 8.59 left in period one. 14th goal of the season. His eighth in his last 10 for Sasha. Well, again, if you don't have the two line mates to lose to Eric Stahl going to the net, Thomas handles the second shot, and there's no dust off here. So all three of our game keys, top six, Stahl line just converts with seven, take the will away early, and the youth consistency, all three here in the first ten minutes. Unassisted goal by Alex Semin. Dwyer out in front. Winchester in control. Thomas Kopetsky through the middle. Swallowed by Anton Hudobin. He'll hang on. We'll get a stoppage. And now a disturbance to the side of the Carolina goal. And you have to look back to Hudobin's early save on that play where Sacker had caught a stick up high. And while we have a second, uh, John, John Michael Lyles, who also was on the ice there, met his father this morning, okay. was in from Indiana. But we always talk about the, the Culver Military Academy. I know our chief financial officer, Mike Amadola, loves that. But Jesse, his sister, he has a brother. We haven't talked about his sister. She's a third grade school teacher in Indianapolis. So hello to John's sister, Jesse, watching tonight. Oh, great. I'm glad that they take in the action here. And uh, I don't understand. Our good friend, Mr. Amendola, and his issue with Culver. I don't get that, but that's okay. I don't get a lot. That comes from him. Now along the board, <laughs> Belmore tries to move it by Gomez. We'll see if that gets a reaction. Out of the corner now. <laughs> Gilbert pinching down for Florida. Tuomo Rutu looks around through the center zone intended for Riley Nash. He comes all the way back. Icing is called here against Carolina. Well, I affectionately call him Dr. Cash. He's a he's a great man. He's been around since day one in Hartford, but he just thought that uh, the Culver Military Academy was getting a lot of play. I know the Lyles family loves it, and I mentioned it initially because my father went there, but that's, uh, well, Mike, if you're watching, Culver just got mentioned again, and the Canes are up 2-0, which hopefully has you smiling. He does smile. Now out to center. Campbell. 
Getting it back from boys. They start again. Just about 12 minutes gone in the first. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always. 2-0 Carolina. Boys out in front. Batted down at the D. Fed along by Barkoff. This is Bergenheim. Sean Bergenheim to the outside of Jordan Stahl. Loose in back of the goal this way. It's Tom Gilbert. Gilbert to the point. Barkoff holding. Shooting one. Stopped by Hudobin. And the rebound kicks free. Lindholm. Batted down with a high stick by Campbell. But Carolina gets it. So play continues. Jordan with a shot. Negated by Tom Gilbert. Bergenheim for Barkov at his side, Brad Boys, and they get it deep. Along the boards now and back out, Jeff Skinner. He'll dump it by Tim Thomas. Dmitry Kulikov for Dylan Olsen. Through the middle of the ice, Bukestad this way for Jonathan Huberdo, who walks in for a shot that's well wide. Kulikov at the top of your screen. Turning stick of Nick Bukestad. It goes by Scotty Upshaw. He'll hunt it down. Back to the point, Olsen to an open corner. Semin with a chop. Bukestad in control. Knocked down by Scotty Upshaw. Upshaw holding onto it, handing off to Branson to the outside of Semin. Huberdo fights off fault. Centers one. Bukestad had his stick checked by Sekera. And away go Carolina. Huberdo has had a tough season, but he's working hard. He had his first NHL fight earlier this week. I'm sure they don't want that often, but, you know, a couple of big hits last night. That was the, a good shift along with Upshaw. Out of the corner, Lyles. Inside it goes Marcel Gotch for Florida. Now Manny Malholtra checked by Jesse Winchester. They jam along the boards. You see it pop out. Loose in back of the goal, Lyles, a smart reverse for Ron Hainsey. And out they go. It goes by Patrick Dwyer. And they do win the race, so it's icing against Carolina. Hey, Katie, you got your smartphones for your chance to win a team sign. When the Hurricanes score first, as they did tonight, and is the case with many teams this season in the National Hockey League, good fortune. And some more extreme than others, right. but every team has a good number. The team they're playing tomorrow, the Montreal Canadiens, has an especially good number when they score first. They are here and getting ready for that 6 o'clock face-off tomorrow night. It starts on Fox Sports Carolinas with Hurricanes live at 5.30. Fleischman hands it off, shoveled high. Gomez, who Dolben got across. Gomez gets after it again. Off the boards now. Fleischman inside for Gomez. Out of the corner. Tom Gilbert, Thomas Fleischman. Here's Campbell, a slap pass, one pass too many, broken up by Nathan Gerby and back out. Boy, Florida, they fan on the puck first, so that's a good break. And then Hudobin again, that's the fight, that's the competitive nature that he's shown on a regular basis. Florida has had good chances in this first period. Boys, losing control, Harrison for Carolina. Play read by Dylan Olson for Brad Boys. Centering one, Bergenheim, the pass in his skates. Carolina survives, they get it out. Riley Nash has been Carolina's most complete player in this first period. They're another good play defensively as the low centerman. Now it's Rue 2. Nash, it goes high off the stick of Barkov. Riley Nash will think about it. He had 24 square feet for just a fraction of a second of an empty net, but a good start for number 20, and Carolina leads 2-0. Well, Nathan Gerby is the subject. Let's take a look at tonight's Hurricanes teeth rattling check of the game presented by Dr. Tom Long, team dentist for the Hurricanes. Well, this was the absorption of the first hit. Then he comes over to the other side and gives out one of his own, Uncle Branson. And the crowd got excited. And there's his father, Joe. And I'm sure he was excited when that hit happened. But now we see him live. Ooh, he's been in town the last couple of days. Very seriously watching the practices. Always focused, Joe Gerby. Long time minor hockey man in the Detroit area. What I mean by that is he was the team manager for many of the teams Nathan Gerby played for on the way up. And those of you that experience travel hockey for the youngsters, that is a big job. It's a big time job. And as a matter of fact, I, I he knows my father and uh, from teams my father sponsored, and you know the stories about. Uh, you know, telling Nathan at a very young age, whether it's youth hockey or now in the National Hockey League, people pay good money to come and watch you pay. Uh, play, excuse me. They should never leave feeling like they were cheated with effort. Some nights are going to be better than others, but don't you ever make them feel 
like that ticket wasn't worth the price. And you know there's a burn tonight for Nathan Gerby. He and his line mates were on the ice for the winning goal Tuesday night. Late stages out there to secure that point. And there hasn't been too many times that guys like Manny Malholtra, Pat Dwyer, Nathan Gerby, Hainsey, and Lyles have done that where it hasn't worked. And, and Gerby made the coverage mistake on the first goal of the game scored by Ladd, too. And I could tell at ice level, he was very frustrated, wants to bounce back. Dylan Olsen, an aggressive save by Hudobin, and they score on the rebound opportunity. Nick Fuchstad got to it. That line has been succeeding of late for Florida. They sting Hudobin and cut the lead in half. I think we both agree that Florida has earned this goal. I mean, they've had all sorts of good chances. And, you know, this was a five-man attack. Dylan Olsen, who I think has made some good, subtle plays early in this period. Good first pass, I remember, earlier. And Hudobin, I think, thought he had it. You know, maybe he thought he had actually dealt with that puck on the half butterfly side and the blocker side of his body, but he ended up maybe extending too soon, but it's not his fault because that was a five-man attacking ship where, unfortunately, Jordan Stahl's line and the top defensive pairing was out-battled in their own end. The 21-year-old from Minneapolis, Nick Bibstad, his dad played in the National Hockey League in the Minnesota system as a North Star way back when in the 80s. And he scores his 13th goal of the season. He's had a nice season. He's a big body down the middle now. And Jovanovski gloved down by Brett Belmore. That hand pass is legal in the defensive zone. It's broken up by Florida's Kopetsky. Gained by Belmore. And out they go. A little back heat from Marcel Gotch. A loose puck as we see. Ed Jovanovski getting it away from Eric Stahl. Florida's captain for Jesse Winchester. Cut off by Jay Harrison. Harrison now for the Hurricanes. Dylan Olson and Jonathan Huberdeau will get the assist on the goal by Nick Bukestad is 13th at 15-32. Tom Gilbert coming all the way back. He has 22 assists and that leads Florida. Brian Campbell, center ice area. Worked along, broken up by the Hurricanes. Here they come. Nash over the line, route two. All the way across for Lyles. John Michael Lyles, quick hitter off of Thomas. Drayson Bowman with a shot. Hainsey's bit stopped by Thomas. And Gomez will poke it out. Open ice, Sean Mathias with a shot. Great job by Ron Hainsey, cutting across. John, let's take one more look at the goal. Jordan Stahl actually had... Stop it right here, guys. He has complete possession, and he unfortunately runs into fault. That leads to the turnover. And yes, that shot's blocked, but then you have the hounding of the puck to get it again on the part of Bukestad, the eventual goal scorer. So he, like Nash on the first goal, starts the play that he finishes. Kulikov off the faceoff. Sean Bergenheim inside it goes on a cycle. Alexander Barkov, Bergenheim. In control now, boys for Bergenheim. Florida has that jump, you have to give him credit. Now it's loose along the board. Sekera back out. Andre Sekera. Ice cut in half, a big hit by Dylan Olson coming up on him. Now Malholtra for the Hurricanes. Thwarted, now Dwyer brings it. Shut down by Thomas, the rebound! Tim Thomas! A great save off Manny Malholtra. Dylan Olson, who sets up the goal with his point shot, has had another uh, good moment in his period, but the Hurricanes persevere and they had puck support. You know, and when you can get their numbers, and so far you're right, this has been a really nice bounce back for Malhotra, Gerby, and Dwyer. And to me, the Hurricanes have actually got their energy in this first period from their bottom six, not their top six. It's been this line and it's been the Riley Nash centered line that has been their best. Of course, Simmons scoring, but that was a quick hitter. Turnaround shot, and a great one by Simmons. Riley Nash, Alex Simmons scoring for Carolina. Nick Bukestad scoring for Florida. Huberdo off of Hudobin. Jonathan Huberdo out of the corner. Holding out of that puck. He'll go deep. Bukestad awaiting it. Left it there. He was separated from it by Lyles. Upshaw on Hainsey, and now Jordan Stahl. Checked by Bukestad. Florida wins the battle. Now a shot taken by Jovanovski is blocked by Jordan Stahl. Lead pass for Skinner. Comes all the way back. No icing. Got Branson stolen by Skinner. Holding on to it. He'll stop. Erica Branson will shut him down. Harrison's big blocked by Bukestad. Forked along by Lindholm. Getting to it is Barkov. 
Along the board, Skinner with a steal. His shot blocked by Good Branson. Belmore scores! Brett Belmore finds a way to bang it home, and Carolina back up by a deuce. The two former Rookie of the Year's going at it after the goal. Skinner actually nullified the icing because he touched this puck. Then he gets in, watch him get hit from Gabranson. But what I was looking to see is when he shy away when he gets this puck back from the perimeter. Watch here as he gets this puck back. And he looks to dry, he looks to penetrate. That's encouraging. Shot gets blocked, but Belmore steps in with a nice screen in front. Thomas was clearly, clearly Bothered by Eric Stahl. I don't know, maybe on some nights his incidental contact, I thought it was outside the crease, so a good non-call. But Skinner driving towards the paint, towards the rewarded area, allows Belmore to step in and fire that one home. So the second goal of the season for Brett Belmore. He's been reinserted back in the lineup, paired with Jay Harrison, Marcel Gotch. Eric Stahl goes to work on the forecheck. Semin in back of the goal, dug out. The cleared not out by Gotch. Played here by Tom Gilbert. Played right by Carolina Zeri Tolusti. Centering one, mopped up by Brian Campbell, and out they go. Elias Lindholm and Jeff Skinner. Get the assist on the second goal of the season for Brett Belmore at 18-21. And a couple years ago, when Gabranson hit Skinner earlier in the shift, Skinner would have probably been bothered by it. He might have retaliated. Instead, he stuck with it and got more determined to get to the slot area that allows Belmore to step in and fire away with the Eric Stahl screen. Scott Gomez deals it back for Dylan Olson. Thomas Fleischman has it, and out they come. Gomez, the veteran, moving it by Riley Nash, bouncing one, where it's set up by Hudobin for Justin Falk. Cut off by Sean Mathias. Centering pass, Gomez, it goes high. He's had a couple of chances in the period. Both miss hits, and now it's carried out here by Riley Nash. Tuomo Rutu has space. Here's Bowman. His shot blocked. It's loose, and Jovanovski gets to it. Scott Gomez had the block for Florida. Now he has the puck. Wiped along by Thomas Fleischman. 12 seconds left in period one. Sekera for Hainsey. Ron Hainsey in his own zone. Threads it out to center ice. Riley Nash took a hit from Eric Gutbranson. And it's dumped back out to center ice, and that'll do it. Riley Nash, a sensational first. He will be Chantel McCabe's guest. She starts the BNC Bank first intermission. We are back with that right after this on Fox Sports Carolina. To back home games inside PNC Arena for the Carolina Hurricanes prior to a long Olympic break. The second time this season with three first period goals. The Maple Leafs were here on January 9th. That's when the Hurricanes got it done. And they came out with a strong first, although Florida had plenty of chances. On their own accord in period one, John Forsland, Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe, along with our fine crew. The Montreal Canadiens are here tomorrow night. It'll start with Hurricanes live at 5.30. Sean Bergenheim denied by Anton Hudobin. 16 starts in a row for Mr. Hudobin. Alexander Barkov in control. Spinning one off the paddle of Hudobin. Brad Boyds gets to it. A good start for Florida. Tom Gilbert, here it comes. Looking for the tip, none available now. Brian Campbell. Barkov shot turned out by Hudobin. Brad Boyd's in control. Mopped up by Ron Hainsey as Lyles took him out. Barkov wins a battle away from Eric Stahl. Eric gets it back, though, and pushes the puck out to center ice. That's just a tough shift to start the period. I mean, one minute, this game has all the makings, and Peter Horacek sticks with the veteran and two-time best and winner Tim Thomas in the nets. Uh, this game is so far from being comfortable right now, especially with Florida's energy and work ethic uh, so far in this game. Lindholm broken up. Hinged out of the zone by Brian Campbell. Scotty Upshaw holding onto it. This way for Bukestad. Wide. The puck was on edge. Dmitry Kulikov inside for Jonathan Huberdo. Stopping and starting. Centering one between both Bukestad and Upshaw's legs and back out. 
Dylan Olson back in his own zone, paired with Dmitry Kulikov. Florida has had the puck a great deal in the first two minutes of this period. Andre Sekera off the glass. Back out to center, Jesse Winchester right back in the Carolina zone. You have to compliment uh, the stick with itness of Florida to give up that late goal after getting on the board from Bugstad and starting a period like this, uh, especially when you factor in their record. Let's take a look at the first period numbers brought to you by Buffalo Brothers. Oh man, now I want wings. Want to let that promo breathe the way you want to breathe after you have the hot sauce with those Buffalo Brothers. Boneless. We Who digest made? all of the numbers. That's the idea, right? Oh. Digesting. So important in life. What are you, a lower GI guy? I right am, now? yes. Now comes back. You know where, where the Duatka is? <laughs> Brought along and deep that time by Nathan Gerby, Tim Thomas, Ed Jovanovsky. Out of the corner. Now Holtra for Gerby. Nathan Gerby, Manny Malholtra holding on to that puck to the outside. Brett Belmore with a goal tonight by Malholtra. And again all the way back. Gerby, top of your screen. Over skating, Patrick Dwyer getting help from Manny Malholtra. To an open corner. Pinching down the wall for the Hurricanes is Brett Belmore. Out of the corner scrum. Thomas Kopetsky for the Panthers back out. This is Jesse Winchester. Winchester over the line, shifting gears. Turned out by Hudobin. Jay Harrison moves it. Tom Gilbert at the point. Brian Campbell loads the gun. Wide of a screened Hudobin. Getting to it now is Sean Mathias. Shoved down by Jay Harrison. Kirby taps it out through center and all the way back. Harrison. On the prowl, but Brian Campbell has it as we see. Well, Manny Mahalter's line looked like they started to assert the first four check of the period for Carolina, and then Carolina, or Florida answered again. Riley Nash in control out there with Drayson Bowman and Tuomo Rutu. Rutu settles it down, turns, fires one off a of body off Tom Gilbert. Here's Thomas Fleischman. He's away. Good look at him through center. Fleischman with a shot negated by Lyles. In control, Tuomo Rutu. Turning for Lyles, broken up again, a strong Florida forecheck. Carolina with a steal, it's Bowman and Nash. Here they come. Riley has it away for Trayson Bowman. Looking for route to Nash the trailer. Off a stick, it goes astray. Out of the corner, Bowman. Tied up by Dylan Olson. Shaking free, Carolina's Trayson Bowman. Bowman along the boards, pinned by Olson. Getting to it is Eric Stahl. Stahl inside a ghost, Bowman route to Hit hard by Olson. And the Panthers have control, and out they come. Route 2 has been good, and Olsen on the Florida side there finishing that hit. He's been very good. He's been very noticeable coming into this Florida lineup. Carolina offside. In the process of a change there, the Carolina Alehouse is the spot for cool bars. The next one will be in Greenville on February 25th. The Canes are at Buffalo. The Vortex game, the rescheduled game, and that'll kick off the activity after the Olympics. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com for more details. Yeah, Eric Stahl actually was hurt and wasn't on that trip when we dealt with the Vortex at Buffalo and also the 2 a.m. fire alarm and then the alarm again at 2.15 after the game had been canceled. Which you have saved for the time capsule. You still have that on your phone, I believe. Jovanovski. For people to digest. Stahl with a shot. Great save. The rebound. They score. Gary Tamusti cashes in. And the Hurricanes have a 4-1 lead. I think Tim Thomas has had a fabulous season. I am surprised that Horacek did not make a change after the first period. Good, you know, good pressure here. Bergenheim just cannot handle the puck. And Eric Stahl establishes a shot. You know, so just a, a, a tough turnover in the middle of the ice. Puck actually goes off Thomas, off to Branson. And Yuri Tulusti finally gets some puck luck after all the breaks this season. And Clementson He's ready. is now ready. I think they're one goal too late on this, candidly. But the Hurricanes take advantage. And when you're Bergenheim and you turn that puck over in the middle of the ice, oftentimes it can lead to a quick piece of bad news in the defensive end. Well, it's the oldest goaltending tandem in the National Hockey League. 
39-year-old Tim Thomas replaced by 36-year-old Scott Clemenson, who's been a very good number two over the years. And, and, and the product of two great college programs, Thomas of Vermont and Clemenson of the Boston College, uh, Jerry York situation that has been upper echelon and will play for the bean pot, I believe, on Monday. But, you know, Thomas, I think, has had an excellent, excellent come back here after taking the year off. I hope he plays again. Even a guy of his caliber, you know, is going to have the off night. And I think the Hurricanes, what they've done to force this early exit for Tip Thomas is they've gotten to the front of the net with bodies. I mean, there's been a net front presence, really, in some form on, on all these goals they've scored. So Thomas waited for Clemenson. And he will leave. It's been a very interesting story since, as we pointed out, last time these two teams met, the season started after a year off. And after coming down off that mountain, he reestablished his game. And many nights keeps Florida in a position to win. Uh, he he had a couple early injuries. Had to get used to some new equipment. I think, as I said, the first three plays such a different style. His team had to get used to him. I hope he plays again. I know he's hoping to as well. He has not talked to general manager Dale Talon about it yet, but I really hope he does. Tonight just wasn't his night, but to me, it was again Carolina getting bodies to the front of the net the way they weren't quite able to on Pavlik Tuesday. And again for Thomas, he was playing on consecutive nights. He played last night against Detroit, a game in which they lost. Carolina starting this evening five points out of a playoff spot. Now they do have games in hand, like on Philadelphia, three. Philadelphia has the third spot right now in the Metro. Five points in back of them. There are also five points in back of Detroit in terms of the final wild card in the Eastern Conference. Now Holtra. That's why the four points this weekend are very important for Carolina. Kopetsky back out to center. They're huge. Jesse Winchester turns. Turned out by Hudova. He handles the rebound. Marcel Gotch. Dylan Olsen with a shot wide. Now it's played along the boards by Patrick Dwyer and back out to center. Jay Harrison pumps one wide of the new goaltender, and it comes all the way back. And don't look now, and you might get confused by this in a 4-1 game. Anton Hudobin has had a big part in it with some timely, timely stops. Absolutely. Icing is called here against Carolina. 13.58 left to go in the second period, and here is the last sequence. He's, he's dealt with traffic better than uh, the guy that he looked up to most in the NHL, his understudy. Tim Thomas again told me this th this summer. I'll say it again, I said it the last broadcast. He said Anton Hudobin has the same chance to have the coming out party I did in Boston. That's how much belief he has in him. Jovanovski with a shot sealed off by Anton Hudobin. And we will step aside. 13.53 left to go in the second period. Anton Hudobin and the Hurricanes with a three-goal lead over Florida. And it's 4-1 Canes. I'm in the stands with Nathan's father, Joe Gerby. Nathan has been such a great addition to this team, but what has really brought out the best of his game here with the Hurricanes this season? Uh, the coaching staff and the organization, the way they play the game, and uh, they got a lot of faith in Nathan, and Nathan knows that. And that helps out a lot, 100%. Good. Now, going back to the Philly game, that highlight reel goal that we will remember for a very long time. I know you have a memory of him practicing that kind of move back on the pond. Every night uh, when these kids, I had three boys who were very young, we watch uh, some videos of Wayne Gretzky and some of the great hockey players and take their uh, skills and put it on the ice pond in the back of the yard and practice it. All right, so practice it early. That's the lesson there. Thanks, Joe. Yes. Guys, back to you. Florida, another great scoring chance and a sterling save by Anton Hudobin. And we thank Joe Gerby for his time. And the insight there is the deflects at the defense broken up by Ed Jovanovsky. Back out to center ice, and the line of Nash, Bowman, and Rutu get another chance. And Riley Nash's first real mistake of an otherwise excellent game there that led to that great chance, and another Hudobin stop. He turned it over just inside his own line. You could see there he didn't want to make the same mistake and protect the puck. It was off the stick of Riley Nash. It comes all the way back. Erica Branson for Florida. Underneath it and out, Barkoff. Now Bergenheim denied by Eric Stahl. Talusti looks for the captain. Here he is. Eric Stahl turns it to the outside. Justin Falk. Andre Sekera. 
Off a stick wide, mopped up by Clemenson, played here by Tulusti. Gary Tulusti, Justin Falk. It will be played outside the blue line by the U.S. Olympian. Florida now recoils. Scott Branson to wipe it ahead. They will have a ceremony here tomorrow night honoring Carolina's Olympians. Four in number. Mr. Rutu, Sekera, Falk, and Semin go to Sochi. And one more note on Nathan Gerby. Uh, Joe Gerby, his father, will not be here tomorrow night because he's driving back to Detroit with uh, Nathan's fiance Brennan. Because you remember at the beginning of training camp that uh, Joe lost his uh, son-in-law, yes. Nathan's uh, brother-in-law, in a tragic car accident. And Nathan is going to be with his uh, sister's kids, his nephews and nieces, and his uh, fiance Brennan, who was a great uh, volleyball player yeah. at Boston College. That's where they met. They will be headed back to Detroit uh, after tonight's game, and then Nathan will join them after the Montreal game for the break. Okay. Andre Sekera for delay of game as we see. First power play of the night, and it will go to the Florida Panthers. Florida dead last in terms of their power play. They are also 30th on the road, and that'll do it. Now Holtra short-handed. It goes high, thwarted on the way out. We go to four on four. Maybe we'll get a chance to look at both penalties. First of all, we were talk talking about Nathan Gerby and being there for his family. Obviously, what led to that whistle was Sekera dumping this puck over the glass delay of game. And now Manny Malhotra, after the faceoff, just propels through Gilbert, putting him in a tough spot where he has to interfere or hold him. And so we see four on four hockey. 7.50 is the time of that penalty. Peter Horacek, the new coach. Kevin Deneen started this season as the coach of the Florida Panthers. Horacek for a long time, nine seasons, an assistant under Barry Trotch in Nashville. Speaking of Nashville, well wishes to our great yes. friend Pete Weber, who is in the hospital, the, the, the voice of the Nashville Predators. That was an unbelievable experience and occurrence yesterday in St. Paul. We'll get to it when we have time here. Kulikov tries to move it back. Both David Coyle and Pete Weber sustained injuries at a morning skate yesterday. Scotty Upshaw, nobody home out in front. Coyle, the GM, who is also the general manager of Team USA, was hit with an errant puck during the morning skate and injured his facial area. And because of that, is still in the hospital in St. Paul. He had two surgeries on that and will not go to Sochi at least for now, but will join at some point. Pete Weber had a heart attack watching the morning skate, and I understand he'll be released from the hospital this evening. Stay in St. Paul tonight, go back to Nashville tomorrow. He's a great friend, a great broadcaster, and we wish him well. Boy, oh boy, and you know the guy you mentioned right before you started telling that story on Florida, Scotty Upshaw, a longtime Nashville Predator. Yes, first round pick. Now boys out to center ice. Barkoff over the line. Toe drag. Denied. Justin Falk. He and Barkoff will see each other in the Olympics. Barkoff on Team Finland. Skinner with a shot off the glove hand of Clemenson. Out in front. Barkoff underneath it and out. Brad Boyce, the veteran. The shootout specialist. Now Barkoff over the line holding onto it from well out. Added down by Hudobin. Out of the corner. Good work by Barkoff. Here's Boyce. Backdoor pass negated by Bowman. Kulikov has it. He was flashing. Out in front, denied by Anton Hudobin, run into, and a penalty will follow. I believe Barkov will go for crashing the goal. Sekera, sealed off by Clemenson. And the whistle stops play. Again, our third game key is youth providing consistency. We talked about Nash Bowman made a play here. Steve, minor penalty, goaltender interference. That leads to LaRue making this call on Barkov. Drayson Bowman, play away from the puck. Makes the key play. There you see the goaltender interference. Bowman, you see 21 just coming down. He had just made a play where he didn't get mesmerized by the puck on the weak side defenseman. And I just love watching it. I think he's been pretty darn consistent. Another teaching moment from John McClain. I think about his routes. Routes are so crucial. Five on three for two seconds. Lyles, one-timer, stole a save, Scott Clemenson. Reacting to that big blast from Eric Stahl. 
special teams face offs. We talk about them on a nightly, nightly basis. Stall wins the draw. Miles makes the play. Again, we began our show talking about the work at practice, the central focus the last two days, beating the power play, treating it like game situation. Right. Carolina tied for 26th with their power play. 25th at home. Florida 29th on the kill. Eric Seven. Blocked in front by Jovanovski and handled by Clemenson. As it trickles in, if the Hurricanes put the biscuit in the basket during the Duke Energy power play tonight, Kaniacs who say the winning phrase receive a free Bowberry biscuit from participating Bojangles restaurants tomorrow morning. Bojangles, it's bow time. Well, two chances from two of the big boys here on this power play. Eric Stahl. Great save from Clemenson. Yeah, he did. He started this period backing up. You see the way that he watched that puck into the glove. All goalies should always do that. There's a tendency to not take care of that detail. Now Gerby up top for Alexander Semin. Lyles walking the line. Eric controlling. Toulouse off a stick off Campbell. Now Semin back to the point for Lyles. Lyles negotiates. This way for Eric one more time. Fourth glide by Gerby. Now it's played by Alex Semin, top of your screen. Lyles, Eric in the ring. Inside again, he gets it from Zalusti. Eric Stahl will settle it down, walk it, control it to the wall. Trading places with Zalusti. John Michael Lyles, Semin, blocked in front by Campbell, and the Panthers get it out. And by the way, it's not because he's having a good night. Gerby, this was a switch made in practice, him being on that unit. Here's Semin, little drag move, changing the point of attack with his shot. It's left, broken up, tapped along by Matthias for Kopetsky, who's in, off the post, rebound chance, blocked in front. No oh, mercy. Goaltender's best friend. I mean, shots are 17-17. I mean, this could be a completely, completely different hockey game. You know, a couple of bounces, we go for making those stops. Florida not getting the stops. And it's been one of those nights. Gopetsky from well out. Blocker down by Anton Hudovin. 15 seconds left in the power play. Andre Sekera. The Slovakian Olympian will carry along. Out to center ice. For the opening ceremonies today in Zdeno Chara. Slovakian was there for that. Let go by the Boston Bruins, which was a classy move so he could carry the flag for Slovakia. He's got to be the tallest guy ever to carry the flag. Come Absolutely. On. That flag was 100 feet off the ground. Now Sekera. I understand some adjustments were made for his bedding, though. <laughs> you see those beds? Yeah. How, how on earth is he going to sleep in one of those beds? They did. They put two on him in there. Well, you're not even uh, kidding. No, I'm not. Now it's center. Good stick by Barkov. Follow up by Harrison High. Clemenson was knocked down, and a penalty will follow. Carolina now guilty of interfering with a goaltender. We'll tell you about it when we come back. 7.40 left to go in the second period. We don't need slow motion for this, but we will anyway. Off the heavy metal of Anton Hudobin. Little city Duomo Rutu for interfering with Scott Clemenson. Well, as Rutu will head to the Olympic Games, Vince are certainly known for being some of the most cerebral hockey players on earth. There you see the interference. Just one note on the Zdeno Chara adjusted bed. Looking at these beds and toilets in the Olympic Village, you would think the Russian population is the shortest population on Earth. And that's just not true. I know. I mean, <laughs> our clothes Julian and Ken Hitchcock in the share room. They're going to have to figure that out. And uh, you know what? We don't need a visual on that. Now it's fed along. In the corner, Huberto tries to center when it comes all the way back. Campbell feeds it across. Gilbert with a shot wide of Hudobin. Now Campbell goes deep. Jonathan Huberdeau knocking it down. It goes by Nick Bukestad out of the corner. Campbell in control. Punches one ahead. Campbell gets it back all the way across. Gilbert, his shot. Upshaw is there. Off the glove hand of Hudobin. Now Dwyer, Upshaw for Florida. Jonathan Huberdeau back to the point. Tom Gilbert this way, Brian Campbell. Gilbert again holding. Tom Gilbert for Brian Campbell. He'll sort it out. He sets up a man, Huberto, looking for the pass, looking for Bukestad. Now Campbell. Campbell again. Walks it back. Huberto faking. Detected by Manny Malholtra with help from Patrick Dwyer. They get it out. Now eventually they get it out. But did you see 
how much velocity and how accurate Campbell's passes were. I know. That's the difference. We'll see that tomorrow with Montreal, especially with Markov and Subban. Now Alexander Barkov is broken up by Jordan Stahl. Dmitry Kulikov coming back for Florida. Flushed out by Yuri Tulusti, Thomas Fleischman for Kulikov, and here they come. Barkov on and off his stick, defended by Brett Belmore. Sean Bergenheim cut it off, Jordan Stahl, good job. And out she goes. Belmore has done an excellent job since coming back in the lineup. Really wasn't anything in Mike Komisarek's play that made him exit, but you know, it's the depth, and, and Belmore has seized the opportunity starting a week ago against St. Louis. Florida offside, Bergenheim attempting to straddle the blue line, could not. You see the time left in the period and the power play. Well, I want to take a look at the, this passing, okay? Now, here's Campbell right here. Watch him zip this puck. Again, right here. Look at that. Look at the pace. Look at how accurate it is. I was talking to Ron Hainsey about that this morning, and he said, Claude Julien, when Claude Julien coached him in the American Hockey League, if you didn't pass the puck with zip, it was in Hamilton. He stopped practice. Mm. I'll tell you what, what a great opportunity to have a coach like Claude Julien as your mentor at that level, at the minor league level. He's become, as was pointed out, Team Canada, part of the coaching staff, so an elite coach at this level. Now a shot taken, handled by Hudobin. A bid from well out that time by Sean Mathias. Will step aside, and Anton Hudobin continues to get it done in goal for Carolina. They salute the military here in Raleigh. Alex Semin getting it done. Coors Light cold hard facts in this 4-1 game in which his team leads. We'll take a look here at plus minus ratings since December 28th. How about that? Alex Semin leading the National Hockey League. They're tied with Andre Pilat at a plus 14. I'm going to give you a little known stat. And for the season, Semin came into this game plus six and plus 83 for his career. Mm. And if you look at Ovechkin's plus minus numbers in Washington from when he played with Semin and since Semin departed, you'll see a stark difference. Now we have an altercation. Brett Belmore of Carolina. Eric the Cranston of Florida. Right off the face-off, some shadow boxing. Both boys are tough. The Branson effort with some lefts from Belmore in tight. Now they clutch. And a takedown by Brett Belmore. Way up 4-1, there aren't a lot of players that would accommodate Cabranson, but Belmore does. Really impressed with his all-around game. You know, I remember back to this the first period. I think it was 0-0 at the time. His stick prevented a stuff chance. Here's Cabranson. They're going to come together right here. Off they go. So he prevented a stuff chance early in the first period. He scored a goal later on in the period. I said that he sees the opportunity since coming in a week ago against St. Louis. He just kept working out. He worked very, very hard when he was out of the lineup, waiting for his chance. And I wonder if these two knew each other in junior because, of course, Belmore was with Plymouth. I believe Gabranson was at Kingston in the Ontario Hockey League. Pretty good chance of that occurring. Marcel Gotch, Manny Melholtra. A couple of alternate captains on the faceoff here. Don Henderson, the veteran linesman, dropping the puck. Gotch now inside it goes. Thomas Kopetsky, Dylan Olson through a screen blocked by Justin Falk. He has it. Back out to the center zone, and Florida now will restart. What do you think the odds were in Vegas this one of Belmore getting a Gordy Al hat trick? He's an assist away. That's right. Now it's played here by Olsen. You know I, I shy away from any type of gaming. Now Gotch with a shot off the goalpost. Stick side of Hudobin. Fleischman gets room. Hands it off to Marcel Gotch. Top of your screen it's Dylan Olsen. Gotch in back of Hudobin. Checked on the play by Manny Maholtra. And a penalty is called. Holding along the wall. Carolina down a man. It's going to be Manny Malhotra who's played a real, I think, swarming, tenacious game. You're right, John. 
Those casinos weren't built on charities out in Vegas. No. The old line, gaming money has no home. And Mel Holtra will be in the box to join Belmore for the next two minutes or less. Gotch hits the post here, but I, I, I think Hudobin clearly had it covered there. You see a nice look from our production truck. The use of that right hand, I think, is what got the holding infraction for the veteran. Well, in the words of most goaltenders, a goal post is a missed shot. Uh, that's all it means to the goaltenders because the, the object here is they have the angle and sometimes you get the medal. Belusky. Eric Stahl out in front. Florida, third power play. They've had one shot, one power play abbreviated. Bukestad, Huberdeau with a bid wide of Hudobin. Tom Gilbert, top of your screen. Now Campbell. He'll dust it off, set up Gilbert. They play catch. Brian Campbell walking the line. Backhand dish. Jonathan Huberdeau with a shot stopped by Hudobin. Three saves. Upshaw, Bukestad. And the first one from Huberdeau. Now Gilbert holding onto it. Jonathan Huberdeau, Brian Campbell. Gilbert thinks about it. Eric Stahl on him. They cut, shot taken. Hudobin says no. Jonathan Huberdeau with it. Andre Sekera moves it out. I'm watching the game last night. Huberdeau had a fight with Jake Gardner against Toronto at home Tuesday. And I'm watching last night. He's the rookie of the year. And he wasn't shooting enough pucks. I think he was told to shoot more. He had three shots of it just on that shift. Now Barkov to the corner boys. Off a stick, negated by Jordan. Jordan Stahl out to center ice. Smartly getting room and killing some time. Clemenson in relief of Tim Thomas. Dmitry Kulikov for Sean Bergenheim. A half minute left in the Panther power play. Udobin puts it on a tee. Barkov is in first, though. Back to the point, Ed Jovanovsky. Jovanovsky holding onto it, turning it as Alexander Barkov. Here's Sean Bergenheim. Defended by Carolina's Jay Harrison. Harrison checks him. They jam along the boards. Bergenheim broken up. Carried out of the zone by Ron Hainsey. And alertly off the boards by Riley Nash, who gets it deep. And now Holter is back in five seconds. The way Florida's played, these have been two very important underrated penalty kills here in the second period. You're right. You're right. The score really not indicative of what has gone on here tonight. Bergenheim out to center ice. Florida 0 for 3 with their power play. Four shots. Now it's played by Jordan Stahl by Kulikov. It comes all the way back. Jovanovski leads it for Thomas Fleischman. A steal. Here's a chance. for wide. Jeff Skinner. Now Matthias not out. Cut off by Jordan Stahl. Kulikov's on it. And Kulikov sometimes might be, find a new home today. He was rumored to be in the trade market. Skinner for Jordan. Blocked. To the point, Sekera to the outside. Andre Sekera, his shot turned out by Clemenson. Here come the Panthers out to center ice. Thomas Fleischman crisscrossing, getting room. Defended by Falk. Steal by Lindholm, and away they go. Here's Jordan. Skinner over the line. Broken up by Sean Mathias. Skinner a steal. Broken up at the defense. Good play by Dylan Olsen. And the Panthers now reorganize. Boy, that, that whole chance there began with Falk making a heck of a defensive play just inside his own blue line. Ron Hainsey, new center ice. Grayson Bowman moving it by Campbell. Clemenson out to play it. Nash a steal for Carolina. Back to the point, Lyles. Here it comes, denied by Clemenson. He'll freeze. Well, you're right. You know, we were talking about, uh, in our open, we talked about special teams. Tonight, it's been the penalty kill. And Huberto, I, I'm serious. I'm watching the game last night. He had a fight Tuesday. He had a big hit early in the game that led to drawing a penalty against Detroit. But then on a 2 on 0 in the second period, he passed the puck. I said, this isn't why this guy was the rookie of the year. And I think it was message received. He started this whole flurry here where the goalie had to be the best penalty killer by shooting pucks. I mean, you know, you have to... Continue with the dance with the girl that uh, they got you there. Usually, now Clemenson hangs on with the face off in the Florida zone. 106 left to go in the second period. Bright future. I mean, you see these guys that grab the league by storm like Jeff Skinner did. Skinner, not only a rookie of the year, but an all-star that season. And then they'll oftentimes have the growing pains after that because 
they're circled on everybody's scouting reports, and it's difficult. You learn a lot about yourself when you face adversity. Gabranson, I believe, is still in the Florida locker room on the heels of that fight with Belmore. Broken nose we talked about, he yeah. still had recently. Oh, he was slammed down hard at the end of that altercation. Now, Eric Stahl, Gary Talusti. Stahl turns one off Clemenson. Talusti to the outside, to the point now. Here's Hainsey with his head up. Only a by Talusti, Alexander Semin with a goal tonight. Talusti has one too. Now comes all the way back. Crowd wanted a call. On that play, now it's Kopetsky with a shot off the blocker of Hudobin. Marcel Gott centers one off the paddle of Hudobin. Dylan Olsen, his shot off the glove of Hudobin. Every piece of equipment now will go for the mask next. And now it's played here by Campbell. His shot blocked in front. And it's cleared back out. Well, the glove one, that's where you needed a whistle here late in the period. That's where you want to swallow that up. That's been about the only chink in his armor tonight because he's been excellent through 40. Nick Bukestad going down. Upshaw cleaned up by Hainsey, not out. Olsen inside for Upshaw, shortening up on the stick, knocking it out of midair. Eric leaves it there, and now Ron Hainsey at the horn. That'll do it. Fred Belmore will be Chantel McCabe's guest when she delivers the PNC Bank second intermission. 4-1 to one Carolina after 40 here in Raleigh. Carolina Hurricanes Hockey is brought to you by Raleigh Orthopedics. Go where the pros go. Raleigh Orthopedic. By Golden Corral. Help yourself to happiness. And by Ontario Tourism. Go fish in Ontario.com. Get hooked. Back in the capital city and back inside PNC Arena. As the Hurricanes look to protect and accomplish victory here tonight. Protecting a three-goal lead as we get ready for the start of the third period. Trip, let's take a look at these numbers and contrast October to December, January, and February for the captain. Well, again, we we often, I'm not sure we forget, but we need to remember the injury he suffered playing for Team Canada at the World Ch Championships, that knee injury, the hit with Edler. And so I gave him a waiver on the first month of the year. He said he was 100%. I don't know if he was. But I can tell you right now, even with all the chatter this week with Stamkos going down, his only focus has been for me over the last month getting this team somehow in the playoffs. Eric Stahl through the blue and out on cue as we start this third period. John Forslund, Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe, along with our fine crew at PNC Arena. And we are right back here tomorrow night at PNC Arena as the Canes will be ready for the Montreal Canadiens. It'll start with Hurricanes live at 5.30. Eric Stahl pulls up. The pass detected by Florida's Alexander Barkov, who has the puck. The rookie out to center ice. The second overall pick this past June behind the Colorado's Nathan McKinnon. Now it pops out. Barkov turns, lifts one off a body blocked by Ron Hainsey. They get it out. I don't mean to disrespect the Olympics, but I'm sort of of the mindset that I'm just thinking about the four points on the table this weekend. I think Eric Stahl, after he didn't make that team originally, was very disappointing to him, especially with all he had done for Team Canada. Right. He, whether he'd been selected with Stamkos going down or not, I think his only focus is making the playoffs, which, as a Hurricanes announcer, is what I think about. Well, here comes Nick Bukestad on Anton Hudobin, who says no! What a save by Hudobin on Bukestad! Huberto delays. Broken up. Hoped out to center. Here comes Jordan Stahl. Stahl over the line. Working Jovanovsky. To the top of the goal crease. Scott Clemenson relieved the starter. Tim Thomas early in the second period. Well, it's one thing to get to the post, but to really just get that skate and drive it there where there are no low holes like Hudobin just did is pretty darn impressive. Out to center ice. Good Branson has it now for Florida. Wiped along by Jesse Winchester, played by Anton Udova. Alertly moved for Nathan Gerby. Through center ice now, it's Patrick Dwyer. Pulling up on Gilbert, off his stick, in the screen. The forwards now that use Bauer skates have these, uh, these triggers where you can remove a blade and put a new one in in a matter of seconds. I don't know why goalies don't use it, because he drives the post here with that skate. 
and I don't know how he doesn't lose an edge. I know I would have. I mean, he doesn't find his way to get that skate play right on the post. You, you see, super look from our truck, that pucks in the net. And I would almost always lose an edge when that would happen, but it uh, looks like he's okay. And his great legs. So that's, I think, his greatest attribute. And his reflexes, of course. Now, Fleischman, there it is again, Hudobin on the spot. You should be a Hollywood director. That was right on cue. <laughs> Francis Ford Forsman. I'll take Cecil B. DeMille out in front. It's more commanding. Now it's wheeled back. Take a look at the shots on goal. You know why? No, but I'll be Trip Spielberg any day. Uh, I know, but Cecil B. DeMille, 10 commandments. Now back to the point. Here's Riley Nash holding on to it out in front. Right wide. A great chance. Drayson Bowman. Now Hainsey inside for Nash. In the high slot, it's Tuomo Rutu broken up and back out to center ice. I'm sorry. I thought Moses came up with those. He did. With a little help from Mel Brooks. Out to center ice now. Ron Hainsey at the line. Lyles back out to center. And now Brad Boyce off a stick. Bergenheim walks in. Off the goal post. Three pipes tonight behind Hudobin to go along with everything else. And, and that one, you said, the goalie will always argue he had it top covered. I'm not sure about that one. No. Dumped all the way back down. Icing is called here against Carolina. I, I mean, I think Peter Hornchuk, if this game were to end right now, would actually be happy with his team's effort. All sorts of chances. As Bergenheim, I think, tried to make Huduba think that he was going to the blocker and goes back to the glove. And you hear the ping. So two posts in the second period. And one there to be remembered along with all of Hudobin's other sparkling stops. 27 shots for Florida, three goal posts, 21 taken by Carolina. They have the four goals where it counts. Riley Nash, Alex Semin. Now it's out in front. They scored early in this game. Hurricanes getting goals from Brett Belmore and Yuri Talusti in the second period. Now coming back, Dylan Olsen, a quick up for Scotty Upshaw through the middle. Loose play at the line, they carry across. Lindholm, Skinner delays, hit shot wide. Now Falk, inside again, Kulikov for Florida. Justin Falk for the Hurricanes, denied by Jonathan Huberdo. And Falk now will get it deep. What a play by Lindholm. He's actually, he's outplayed Barkoff tonight. Yes. Taking a few picks after Barkoff, and he takes the hit and also has the vision to be able to make that play. Uh, two really impressive things. They're just on that little ship. Now Gotch will cut it off. His shot wide of Hudobin. Manny Malhotra angles off the boards, gets it out to neutralize. Loose puck as we see. Moving back is Andre Sekera. Justin Falk. Lead pass for Pat Dwyer. Now Malhotra. Denied by Thomas Kopetsky. And that forced the offside. You remember on Belmore's goal, Lindholm, a big part of it, was taking a hit to make a play. Here he is. He draws his man, feels the chemistry with Skinner. Maybe a product of the fact they played together for a while now, but I think a lot of it is, is he has great hockey sets. He makes plays very similarly to the way Rod Brindamore did, those small little tight field type passes. Now Nash, broken up by Scott Gomez, gained by Carolina's route to. Jay Harrison with a shot, greening high off the stick of Matthias by Belmore, and all the way back. Brett Belmore gets there ahead of Thomas Fleischman. He gets help from Jay Harrison. Coleman through the center zone. Belmore calling for it, gets it deep. Gudranson, who tangled with Belmore in the second period, back on the ice. He left the game, period two, after the scrap. Eric Gudranson now for Sean Matthias. Matthias scored Tuesday night against Toronto. Bowman for Root two, shut down by Clemenson. Grayson Bowman to the outside. Eric Stahl, fresh legs over the wall, holding onto it. Back to the point. Hainsey now inserts. Root two with his head in a swivel, holding onto it. Tuomo Root two to the outside of Ed Jovanovsky. Played outside the line by John Michael Lyles. 
Somewhere, Jarmo Kekalainen is pretty happy with Luke to his game tonight. Obviously, he's the general manager at Columbus, and he's probably not too happy about the score, but especially with Coy Ford Filippola going down, to see Rucci have this type of night, he's going to be utilized a lot over the Olympics. I'm sure he's in San Jose tonight. The Jackets are there for a late start. He could be watching this game. They start later on this evening as now Bergenheim will slide it deep. John Michael Lyles moves it a read by Dmitry Kulikov. Kulikov in control. Turning away from Alexander Semen. From his knees, he sets up Alexander Barkov. And now Kulikov again. Going wide, Dylan Olsen. Blocked by Yuri Tolusti. He's hit by Brad Boyds. They go to the corner wall. Bergenheim, Barkov. Good block by Lyles. And out they go. Defensive play first from Tolusti and then Lyles. Little things that are very important at this point in the game. Along the boards now. Montreal is here tomorrow night. Final game before the Olympics. Some of the players, they will get a little vacation time to refresh, come back to practice, I believe, on the 19th. Yeah, I think an optional on the 19th and then a definite on the 20th and a visit to Fort Bragg uh, in Fanville for practice at some point there. That's too. right. Bukestad holding on to it. And a roster freeze is now in effect league-wide. It started at 3 p.m. today. It was off Clemenson. It is lifted on February 24th, which is the day after the gold medal game. Now Falk broken up. Bukestad back out to center ice. There's only one minor trade today, and that was it. As they hand it off and work it along. Now Gerby out in front. Now Holtra, Harrison, Nathan Gerby. They connect the dots. Tic-tac-toe we go. Belmore wide. Gerby, the rebound. Caught off by Clemenson. Good D to D passes a couple of different times in this game. I look back to the goal that was scored in the first period by Semin. Falk to Sekera. Chris, D to D passes at the offensive blue line with pace like you saw there. Clemenson out to play it. Good look at Tom Gilbert. Start of the season on a tryout. Marcel Gantz over the line with a shot deflecting wide of Hudobin. Winchester off the side of the goal. Belmore hunts it down, lays it off the stick of Rutu. It comes all the way back in the zone. A foot race, and icing is called against Carolina. Yeah, this might be one of those situations where you at least think about your timeout just because you're up 4-1, and you don't want to give Florida any life. I, I might burn it right here. Just, you know, because you don't get to take it with you. But... Kirk Muller is going to show a lot of trust in Riley Nash. Now, it does help the side that this faceoff is on, that he can power it back on the backhand. But there are some tired bodies out yeah, there. Yeah. Off the faceoff, Gomez. Kicks around, but Branson off the stick of route two. Kulikov. Lays it there. Nash comes calling. Denied by Clemenson. Great save. Off Riley Nash looking for his second goal tonight. But Branson, as we see it from ice level, took a hit. Carolina inserts, they get a line change. Kulikov is on it. Scott Gomez. Goes with a cross with Branson. Center zone, Matthias. At the line, Gomez. Lights off to Lusty. Lusty recovers. Semin back in his own zone. Great play, losing the draw. The Hurricanes still win it. Dash's line, the defense, those were the guys that really had to get off. And they were able to. And actually, Riley's line got another chance. But they, they got out of the zone very quickly to help the D exit the ice surface. Brad Boys. Over the line, Barkov, Bergenheim. Here it comes. Sharp save, Wudobin. Loose to the wall. Talusti. Back out. Sekera in control. Over the line with a bid. Handled easily by Clemenson. He'll freeze and hand it off to Tom Gilbert. Well, we talked about Eric Stahl's plus minus improving at the start of the period. There was a key example of the way that he denied that rebound chance off of the initial Hudobin save. Now a give back. Sekera looks around, paired with Falk. They go D to D. New center ice. Justin Falk on the attack. Pass to Flex. Played along the boards by Jordan. He sets up Lindholm. Skinner delays, looking for Lindholm. Broken up by Campbell. And the Panthers fight it off. These two like each other so much, Skinner and Lindholm. They have to make sure they don't ever get too cute. Jeff Skinner has one of the best deceptive releases in hockey. Fire that puck and allow Elias to get to a rebound. Now Ultra, Dwyer giving go time. Dwyer, what a save! Scott Clemenson. 
An absolute 10 miller on Patrick Dwyer. 9.52 left to go in period three. The Hurricanes connect the dots. The final chance is here for Pat Dwyer. Robbery by Clemenson. We're back in Raleigh, and it was a week ago tonight that it was the Hurricanes annual casino night, raising a record amount, $282,000 for the Kids and Community Foundation. And all the players were asked to make baskets that are auctioned off. And as you can see, Hoot Opens went for the most with $15,000. And in these baskets, signed jerseys, signed sticks, plus things to show off their personality. Hoot Opens had a Lego set, and Jordan Saul had his favorite ketchup chips from Canada shipped down just for his basket. We'll have a full casino night feature on Hurricanes Live after Olympic break. John and Tripp. Boy, those are some expensive Legos, all for a great, great cause for the Kids and Community Foundation with the, the silent and live auction that uh, you put together. And uh, it was an extremely successful first class night. Well, it was a great night. And our fans, once again, did a great job. It reflects all the way across. And the players who really come out and I hope enjoy themselves and understand why they're there. And I think they all get it. Now a shot goes past Kudobin, played here by Good Branson. Out of the corner, Andre Sekra in control. At one point during the commercial, the Hurricanes were down to four defensemen as both Hainsey and Lyles had left the bench. Hainsey has returned. Lyles has not. I watched him go to the locker room. He looked to be okay. Might be one of those up 4-1, err on the side of caution type things, we hope. It's a back-to-back -back for Carolina. Montreal is here tomorrow night. Florida done for the Olympics after this. Now Bowman. Lead feed for Tuomo Rutu. Rutu in the zone, moving on Jovanovski. He'll circle. Out in front, it's Nash to the outside. His bid off Clemenson. Hunted down by Tuomo Rutu. Nash again. Clemenson got a piece of it. What a pass by Rutu. Now forked out of the zone by Thomas Fleischman. We did a basket one year, didn't we? We did, and it did well. They never asked again. Now Nash goes all the way around. Play here by Campbell. Campbell holding on to it. Gilbert with a shot. Who got it? Oh, and Gomez handcuffed by Belmore. And Carolina survives. Belmore's got to be a star in this hockey game. I mean, he is, he of course had the fight everybody remembers, but a couple stick plays on both posts. One of the first in there on that rebound. Now Bergenheim will leave it. It goes off a stick. Toulouse over skates. Who wants it? Eric Stahl says, give it to me. There it goes. Out to center ice. Campbell. Here we go back now for Tom Gilbert. On the tape with Brad Boyd. Lead pass for Sean Bergenheim. Negated by Eric. Along the boards, Boyd's off a body off Hainsey. Udovic wanders out. Moved by Harrison. Seven on the boards. Olsen is there. The captain out to center ice. Here comes Yuri Talusti. Talusti in the zone. Eric's out in front. There he is. His stick lifted on the back check by Brad Boyd's, but illegally. Hooking is the call. Carolina goes to the power play. Brett Belmore has done so much here tonight. He's even tended goal. What a job by 73. Well, the veteran Brad Boys in the box on the back check did all he could to afford a chance. He goes for hooking. Well, this is after uh, Belmore made that great play in his own end. The Hurricanes counter and Eric Stahl gets the attacking zone edge. And the only reason Belmore was out with Hainsey is because Lyles is in the dressing room. But they have a history because, of course, they've spent a lot of this a year of playing time. together. Yeah. Well, Ronnie Hainsey is, uh, I, I think Kirk Muller said it best uh, before the Winnipeg game, playing against his old team. Steady as she goes. He's been really steady and really good in the locker room. Off the draw now, Skinner on the power play. Segaron fault on the points. His shot scores! began our broadcast talking about adding your percentages of your penalty killing and your power play and hoping they will at least add up to 100 percent the hurricanes penalty killing really good in the second period and now they have the only power play goal of the night and once again it's the traffic lanes that are so important andre sekera since he became a hurricane has been very deft and being able to just get it by that first guy. That's all you ever try to do. You have a situation again, too, 
where Lyles is in the dressing room. Oftentimes, he's the guy that's out there at the top of the key. Andre Sekera gets it through. It's just a silent wrister, and the Canes have had the edge in special teams tonight. So Andre Sekera continues his career season. Nine goals now to go along with 23 assists. Jordan Stahl delays, makes a move on Jovanovski. Centers one for Skinner on the doorstep. Cleaned up and not out by Good Branson. Falk looks for a tip. Here's Jordan. Jordan holding onto it out of the corner. 6.45 left third period. 5-1 to one Carolina. Clemenson says no on the chance by Sakura. And now Nick Bukestad back out to center ice. Bukestad deals along for Huberdeau. Behind Scotty Upshaw. Swung out of the zone by Skinner. Out to center ice. He'll get it all the way back in. Power play goal scored by Andre Sekera from Jeff Skinner and Jordan Stahl, and it comes at 12.48. And another penalty is called here. Yeah, it was an unintentional play from Jordan Stahl, but a penalty. And Kulikov, fortunately, is back on his feet because the trip happened so close to the end boards. He's going to get a penalty for tripping, but this was a, a dangerous trip, not intentional. Well, the Kane didn't put the biscuit in the basket. You could stop by any participating boat jangles between 5.30 and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning and say, I'm a Kaniac, and it's boat time to get your free boat jangles bowberry biscuit. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com slash bojangles for rules and participating locale. Take a look at the penalty. And it, just because of the area it occurred, it's a tough trip, but you know there was no malice in the intent of it as Jordan Stahl had won the key faceoff there on the only power play goal of the, the night. And this is encouraging to have the power play get a goal like that because Montreal, one of the best special teams combinations in hockey. Right. And you get a lift in confidence from not only your power play, but your penalty kill tonight will be tested again here. And that can catapult you tomorrow against the Habs. We look forward to it. And remember, it's a special start time. For those of you at home that might be coming to the game, they expect a big crowd. It's a 6 o'clock face-off. We're on the air with Hurricanes Live at 5.30. Now Barkov out of the corner. Bergenheim for boys. Night ice by Malholtra, carried out by Patrick Dwyer, and again he'll fork it all the way back in the Florida zone. Florida on the power play for the fourth time tonight. Through center ice, Bergenheim off the stick of Brett Belmore. They have to get him an assist. I think Belmore might, he might be the first star of this hockey game. There have been many star caliber guys, but he might be, of course, he's an assist shy of the Gordie Howe Hatcher. They had the big scrap, which got the crowd really into the game. They've been engaged. The crowd has been excellent tonight. And again, we look for a big one tomorrow night against Montreal. The final game before the Olympics. It'll be the Olympic send-off night. Carolina has four Olympians. Montreal has their share. Now along the boards, it's carried out by Sekera. Yuri Tolusti with Trace and Pullman. Laid off the boards, and again they go deep. Just about 15 minutes gone in this third period. The Kings up by four, looking for their 15th win on home ice and their 26th overall. Hurricanes starting the night. Five points out of third, five points out of a wild card spot. But they do have some games in hand. Over the line now, it's Fleischman. Moved ahead. Sekera out of the corner. Gap closed on him by Sean Mathias. Kulikov with a pinch. Dwyer had it, lost it. Sean Mathias, inside it goes. He gets it from Gomez. Now at the point, holding on with Kulikov off a of body, locked in front. The chance goes high. Fleischman held in front. Dwyer tries to clear, not out. Fleischman, Kulikov. Dwyer lost his stick because he blocked it. Now Sekera kills time. Boy, another good block out in front from Andre Sekera. Delmore a few minutes ago, Eric Stahl earlier in the period. Yes, Florida has yeah. fanned on some key chances, but there have been some good secondary defensive plays, too. Absolutely. Now it's gone. For Dmitry Kulikov, 4-10 left, even turns on the ice. As you can see, where it counts Carolina by a bunch. Out to center now. Gotch in control. And it off to Dmitry Kulikov. Right along the boards. Carolina looking to pick up their points at home before the break. Five straight on the road after the break. Starting in Vortex land in Buffalo. Now Jordan Stahl separated from it. Belmore moving up. He'll chop it along. Broken up by Koch and back out. Jay Harrison looks it over. 
Now a steal. Winchester for Florida pulls up. Panthers then half control. Inside it goes. It's Nick Bukestad away from Brett Belmore. To the point. Jovanovski wide of Anton Hudobin. 16 starts in a row. All of them great for Anton Hudobin. A steal. Up show. Caught off by Hudobin. Belmore has it and back out. And I have a feeling it's going to be 17 starts uh, tomorrow night, and that's nothing against Cam Ward, who had his excellent conditioning stint. You just have to ride the hot hand right now. Absolutely. Now up top, Gilbert, Campbell, loose puck. Eric Stahl off the skate and all the way back out under three minutes left in this third period. Back out to center ice. Campbell springs a man at Sean Bergenheim. He's checked by Falk. Out of the corner. Loose in back of the goal. Haynes, he's on it. He'll move it. Bowman. Gilbert. Now Barkoff inside for boys. Defended by Falk. Two and a half left in this third period. Non-stop play here. It's carried out to center ice. Riley Nash moving along the boards and go deep. We'll see in Cam Ward's last start, he did beat the Montreal Canadiens on New Year's Eve, but I still think it'll probably be Hudobin because he's been great again in this game, but I guess hasn't been taxed. Well, he's still been taxed pretty well in seeing 32 shots, and he's made all those right, timely saves. Now it's cleared all the way back. Gomez, good Branson in control. Gomez again by good Branson. Tom Gilbert under two minutes left in this third period. 32 for Florida and 31 taken by Carolina. Gomez out to center ice. It's Sean Mathias moving up on Belmore. Defended by Brett Belmore. Now the Hurricanes start again. He's been, he's been, I mean, terrific. Brett Belmore, he continues to be. Derby over the line. It rolls in on Clemenson. No move it. Now Holtra along the boards. Ulikov pinned on the play. 20 left. Hurricanes will attempt to creep up now in the standings with his victory here tonight. Rangers are leading Pittsburgh in the third period 3-2. New Jersey has Edmonton tonight at home. Later on, Columbus will be in San Jose. Games of note in the Metropolitan. Now it's moved back. One minute, one minute remaining. Under a minute left. Big bounce back effort for the Rangers after losing on home ice to Edmonton last night. That's how tough it is right now. They, they saved Lundqvist for the big divisional game tonight. Talbot played at MSG last night. Huge weekend for the Hurricanes here at home. In a position where they want all four points. And they're going to start on the right foot. 35 seconds left. Carolina will go to 26, 21, and 9. 15, 11, and 5 at home as play is whistled dead. Caniac Nation approves of this. Let's take a look at tonight's free scan brought to you by Frost Brood, Coors Light. Well, a nice uh, little play. One of those posts that uh, I, I don't care if the goalie says he has it covered. He didn't have it covered. Lyle saved the goal, and there have been three posts in this game. And one thing about tomorrow night, Hurricanes have two games in hand on Montreal. They trail the Canadians by seven points, I believe, with the win tonight. So another reason. Harrison with a shot. He's off a stick. Campbell advances out, 20 seconds left. Huberdeau over the line, Brian Campbell out in front. Hudobin again, Hudobin again! Oh yeah, exclamation point for Anton Hudobin. Did you radio down to him and say that you like his uh, quick legs better than anything else? Because he's certainly had those on display in the third. Bukestad swallowed by 31. That's all. Carolina 5, Florida 1. Don't get lost in a 5-1 score. I think Hudobin might still have to be the number one star. He, he really might have to be. Belmore has given him a run for his money. I liked Riley Nash in his line with Tomo Ruto and Bowman early. The top six 
they produced, which is what you asked them to do. And we began the night talking about special teams. The Hurricanes' even strength game has been rock solid and pretty darn rock consistent. They need their special teams to be better, and they want those categories as well to go into tomorrow, tomorrow night's big contest against Montreal because you win, you bring it to five points with two games in hand. That's important in the wild card. All right, let's take a look at the final sequence. Of course, the score is long gone, but you have to appreciate the goaltending of Anton Hudobin. Uh, he gets over, but he, he closes the holes, and then you see the fight. On Hooper, though, the rookie of the year, who I thought actually had a very, very fine hockey game. And, and Anton Hudobin is showing that he can, when you run him like a horse, like a thoroughbred, thus far, he's not breaking down. I give him a lot of credit for holding him off the ice the coaches did on Wednesday, maybe thinking they might play both games on the weekend. Anton Hudobin was selected as the second star here by the media. Riley Nash was number three. And we'll see. And Brett Belmore is the first star tonight for the Carolina Hurricanes. It can't go wrong with any of these picks as the Hurricanes get it done. And Brett Belmore is sitting down next to Chantel McKay. Thanks, John. Everyone was involved in this game. Your fourth line contributed, defensemen contributed. What did that mean to this game? How did it influence the score? Oh, well, we came into it. You know, they're, they're a great five-on-five -five team. They've been playing well five-on-five. Five. Uh, we, we just had to work, our, work hard to win our battles, get pucks behind, and, uh, you know, take, get, take shots and get pucks to the net. And uh, uh, I thought we did really well tonight. Anton Hudobin continues to shine. 34 saves tonight. What did he mean in this game? I mean, he's been huge for us all season. I mean, coming back from injury and he, the way he's played lately, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's nice to defense know that, you know, if, if, we, uh, if we make a mistake or it gets through or something, you know, he's there to bail us out. Special teams was the focus in the last two days of practice. A power play goal and you killed off all of the penalties. What was the message going in? I mean, we just had to compete, work hard. Uh, our power play, I mean, they're, they're getting shots through. They're getting chances all night tonight. And uh, PK did a great job uh, shutting, their, shutting their down. And finally, your coach said that he wanted urgency in this game. Where did your team show it? I, I thought we showed it all over the ice, especially in the offensive zone. We, uh, we got them behind and they went uh, side to side there, get pucks to the net. And uh, I mean, it's a great team win. Thanks, Brett. Congrats. Thank you very much. John, back to you. Thank you, Chantel. Well, the Canes win tonight. The Kaniacs win also. Go to PapaJohns.com tomorrow. Enter the promo code Kaniac. Get 50% off your menu price online order at participating restaurants. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. And not a better way than this to start off the homestand here on the weekend. Back-to-back -back games. Florida first, Montreal tomorrow. And the Hurricanes tonight in front of the nation take care of business the top man coming through and the support forwards having a great night Anton Hudobin stellar in goal and Brett Belmore all the way around total post game coverage with Hurricanes Live right after this on Fox Sports Carolina